Today we're going to talk about the top five problems on this Ford. Oh, it escaped. Wonderful. One A Auto sells all the parts you need to repair all these top five problems. If you need any of those parts, make sure you click the link in the description. Now let's start with the first problem, the ignition coils. The symptoms you're going to have with bad coils are the engine running rough, the check engine light flashing, and if you scan the code, you'll probably end up with a P0300. This engine is a V6 engine, so there's three coils in the front and three coils in the back. The ones in the back are underneath the intake, so you're going to need to replace that intake gasket when you're doing that job. You don't want to end up with a vacuum leak. It's also a great idea to replace the spark plugs while you're replacing the coils. Next, we're going to talk about the EGR valve, which is located here next to the intake. It allows exhaust gases to be recycled into the intake and reburned. That way, you're going to have better emissions. It's going to make the engine run smooth. Now, the symptoms you are going to have with this is the engine running rough. If it gets stuck open or if it's stuck closed, then you're going to end up with a check engine light with an EGR related code. And you may also experience a lack of power. To replace the valve, it's fairly easy. You just disconnect the connector. There's two bolts on the side, and then there's a pipe that comes up from the exhaust. You're just going to need a large wrench to take that off. And while we're in that area, let's move on to the next problem, the purge valve, which is located right attached to the intake as well. When you have a problem with the purge valve, you're going to notice a check engine light. You probably won't notice any drivability issues, but you may end up with a P0456. They are an emissions component and they're fairly easy to change. To replace it, you're going to disconnect this hose that comes from the back. That's just the vapor line. It's just clipped on and then there's a connector right here. Disconnect the connector and there's two bolts holding it in. It just slides off the intake, slide the new one on and reattach it the same way. Related to the purge valve is the filler neck. This vehicle does not have a gas cap and it's going to give you the same symptom as the purge valve, the check engine light with an EVAP code. Over time, the spring can get weak in the seal and that's going to give you those symptoms. Another problem we got to talk about is the cooling fans or the radiator fans. Now when these fail, you're going to notice that your engine's overheating and you may notice your AC is not working quite as well in the summertime. To replace the fan shroud assembly, it's going to be a little more involved than some of the other jobs we've been talking about. You need to remove the grill, the front bumper, pull the radiator forward just by disconnecting the brackets on top, and then you can access the fan shroud. Replace that, put it all back together, and you'll be good to go. And the last symptom we're going to talk about is the blower motor resistor. What you're going to find is the blower motor only works on high speed speed number four and when you go to the other speeds it's not going to work at all and that's because the blower motor resistor has burned up and it's going to need to be replaced you're going to open the glove box on the sides just pull the sides down and you can see the resistor is located right here on the top of the hvac box to replace it you can disconnect the connector there's two screws take those screws out the resistor pops right out pop a new one in connect it up and you'll be good to go. So those are our top five problems for this Ford Escape. If you need any parts for your vehicle, make sure you click the link in the description, head over to 1AAuto.com. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Today, we're gonna talk about the top five problems on this second generation Ford. Oh, look at that, it escaped. Today, we're gonna talk about the top five problems on this Ford. Oh, it escaped, wonderful. That's not good, it's supposed to be a Ford Escape, but here we have a second generation Ford, I almost said Focus, <clears throat> Ford Escape.